Hi, this is a look at Atom for Mac. Atom is a new text editor by GitHub. And uh, you can find more information about it at atom.io. As you can see, it's similar to Sublime Text if you're familiar. And this actually is completely built on HTML. Uh, so this is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And it is similar to brackets.io, which is, is a text editor by Adobe. Uh, and this is made with HTML, JavaScript, and CSS as well. But right now we're going to look at Atom. And this is the latest version of Atom, which is 0.69 and uh, it's currently an invite only beta one of the good things about atom is that it has a command line tool so when you do atom it launches a new atom window so right now we're going to uh, see what you can do with this so if you have uh, if you use command line a lot, you can uh, navigate to the directory you want to go to. And then if you want to open the current directory or project in Atom, you do Atom and you can give it a path and hit enter. So it would open that project uh, in the text editor. And this is the index HTML for a web application. Uh, you can see it has syntax highlighting uh, which is similar to sublime text which I have set through my preferences so if you go to preferences uh, you'd see a tab with all these settings uh, you can make changes to all these settings here you have key bindings which you can change it also has like a package manager where you can search and install packages and you also have themes uh, I have installed the monokai theme which gives you the different colored syntax highlighting which is similar to sublime text and i have the atom max theme which is the tabs here the tabs look different than the default one um anyways so uh you have syntax highlighting for javascript and stuff you can see that it's on auto detect and if you were using a text file or an unsaved file and you were to write stuff without saving the file you can click on plain text and save to html and get syntax highlighting which is good uh, or if you have something like that now this is javascript so you do javascript and you get syntax highlighting uh, so now let's take a look at some of the cool stuff with atom uh, besides this being html which you can actually explore through the developer tools you might have seen this in google chrome developer tools you can inspect all the elements on the page and make changes to them so you can have a very customized development environment so you get the idea and you also have a console here so you can uh, run JavaScript so that was the console so you can explore all the UI elements uh, which is all HTML now on to some interesting things so you have a config file with atom uh, which says what theme you're using uh, this is my UI theme and this is the syntax highlighting theme uh, so the color that you see for the text is the monokai uh, syntax highlighting colors and atom theme is the UI in general which includes the tabs then you have an init script this is JavaScript or coffee script to be precise and then you can write coffee script code and this is executed 
uh, whenever you open stuff with Atom. And besides in it, you have a key map. So you can add additional configuration. Here you have snippets. And then the cool part is style sheet. Um, as you can see, I have a custom background color set. So if I were to comment this out and save it, you'd see that on the left, this color changes. This is a bluish color, which is the default Mac theme but I made it similar to sublime text so as soon as I hit save you see the color changes on the left uh, another thing is that this has I this has a line on the left which you'd see for uh, wrapping which is here so uh, when you have a lot of text wrapping uh, you can use this to get an idea of text wrapping uh, but I did not want this so I opened the HTML inspector which we saw uh, and then figured out what the style was and then added a custom display none here uh, which lets me hide that wrapping line so I have a custom background and I'm also using custom CSS uh, or less to hide that wrap guide which I do not want so you can have custom JavaScript uh, and CSS that you can set to uh, open whenever you hit new tab. So every time I hit new tab and open a new document, it runs my uh, CSS and JavaScript code to make the necessary changes for the view. In fact, you can actually explore. So the custom code I had was for wrap guide. So if you do that, you would actually see that this is a wrap guide. Uh, so that's a quick look at Atom for Mac.